In mathematics, the natural numbers are those used for counting as in there are six coins on the table and ordering as in this is the third largest city in the country. In common mathematical terminology, words colloquially used for counting are cardinal numbers and words connected to ordering represent ordinal numbers. The natural numbers can at times appear as a convenient set of codes, label or names. That is, as what linguists call nominal numbers, foregoing many or all of the properties of being a number in a mathematical sense. Some definitions, including the standard ISO 80000-2, begin the natural numbers with zero, corresponding to the non-negative integers 0, 1, 2, 3, whereas others start with 1, corresponding to the positive integers 1, 2, 3. Texts that exclude zero from the natural numbers sometimes refer to the natural numbers together with zero as the whole numbers, but in other writings, that term is used instead for the integers including negative integers. The natural numbers are a basis from which many other number sets may be built by extension, the integers Grothendieck group, by including if not yet in the neutral element zero and an additive inverse minus n for each non-zero natural number n, the rational numbers, by including a multiplicative inverse 1, n for each non-zero integer n n and also the product of these inverses by integers, the real numbers by including with the rationals the limits of converging Cauchy sequences of rationals, the complex numbers, by including with the real numbers the unresolved square root of minus 1 and also the sums and products thereof, and so on. These chains of extensions make the natural numbers canonically embedded identified in the other number systems. Properties of the natural numbers, such as divisibility and the distribution of prime numbers, are studied in number theory. Problems concerning counting and ordering, such as partitioning and enumerations, are studied in combinatorics. In common language, for example in primary school, natural numbers may be called counting numbers both to intuitively exclude the negative integers and zero, and also to contrast the discreteness of counting to the continuity of measurement, established by the real numbers. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Ancient Roots The most primitive method of representing a natural number is to put down a mark for each object. Later, a set of objects could be tested for equality, excess or shortage, by striking out a mark and removing an object from the set. The first major advance in abstraction was the use of numerals to represent numbers. This allowed systems to be developed for recording large numbers. The ancient Egyptians developed a powerful system of numerals with distinct hieroglyphs for 1, 10, and all the powers of 10 up to over 1 million. A stone carving from Karnak, dating from around 1500 BC and now at the Louvre in Paris, depicts 276 as two hundreds, seven tens, and six ones, and similarly for the number 4622. The Babylonians had a place value system based essentially on the numerals for 1 and 10, using base 60, so that the symbol for 60 was the same as the symbol for 1, its value being determined from context. A much later advance was the development of the idea that 0 can be considered as a number, with its own numeral. The use of a zero digit in place value notation within other numbers dates back as early as 700 BC by the Babylonians, but they omitted such a digit when it would have been the last symbol in the number. The Olmec and Maya civilizations used zero as a separate number as early as the 1st century BC, but this usage did not spread beyond Mesoamerica. The use of a numeral zero in modern times originated with the Indian mathematician Brahmagupta in 628. However, zero had been used as a number in the medieval computus the calculation of the date of Easter, beginning with Dionysius Exiguus in 525, without being denoted by a numeral standard Roman numerals do not have a symbol for zero, instead nulla or the genitive form nulli from nullus, the Latin word for none, was employed to denote a zero value. The first systematic study of numbers as abstractions is usually credited to the Greek philosophers Pythagoras and Archimedes. Some Greek mathematicians treated the number 1 differently than larger numbers, sometimes even not as a number at all. Independent studies also occurred at around the same time in India, China, and Mesoamerica. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern definitions. 
In 19th century Europe, there was mathematical and philosophical discussion about the exact nature of the natural numbers. A school of naturalism stated that the natural numbers were a direct consequence of the human psyche. Henry Poincare was one of its advocates, as was Leopold Kronecker who summarized, "...God made the integers, all else is the work of man." In opposition to the naturalists, the constructivists saw a need to improve the logical rigor in the foundations of mathematics. In the 1860s, Hermann Grassmann suggested a recursive definition for natural numbers thus stating they were not really natural but a consequence of definitions. Later, two classes of such formal definitions were constructed, later, they were shown to be equivalent in most practical applications. Set theoretical definitions of natural numbers were initiated by Frege and he initially defined a natural number as the class of all sets that are in one-to-one -one correspondence with a particular set, but this definition turned out to lead to paradoxes including Russell's paradox. Therefore, this formalism was modified so that a natural number is defined as a particular set, and any set that can be put into one to one correspondence with that set is said to have that number of elements. The second class of definitions was introduced by Charles Sanders Peirce, refined by Richard Dedekind, and further explored by Giuseppe Pino. This approach is now called Pino arithmetic. It is based on an axiomatization of the properties of ordinal numbers, each natural number has a successor and every non-zero natural number has a unique predecessor. Pino arithmetic is a quick consistent with several weak systems of set theory. One such system is ZFC with the axiom of infinity replaced by its negation. Theorems that can be proved in ZFC but cannot be proved using the Peano axioms include Goodstein's theorem. With all these definitions, it is convenient to include zero corresponding to the empty set as a natural number. Including zero is now the common convention among set theorists and logicians. Other mathematicians also include zero, e.g., computer languages often start from zero when enumerating items like loop counters and string or array elements. Many mathematicians have kept the older tradition and take one to be the first natural number, since different properties are customarily associated to the tokens 0 and 1, e.g., neutral elements for addition and multiplications, respectively. It is important to know which version of natural numbers, generically denoted by n, n is employed in the case under consideration. This can be done by explanation in prose, by explicitly writing down the set, or by qualifying the generic identifier with a super or subscript see also in hashtag notation, e.g., like this Naturals with 0 0 1 2 equals n 0 equals n 0 display style 0 1 2 equals math bound n underscore zero equals math bound n cup zero naturals without zero one two equals n equals n zero display style one two equals math bound n carrot asterisk equals math bound n small set minus zero Topic. Notation Mathematicians use n or an n in blackboard bold to refer to the set of all natural numbers. Older texts have also occasionally employed j as the symbol for this set. To be unambiguous about whether zero is included or not, sometimes a subscript or superscript zero is added in the former case, and a superscript asterisk or subscript greater than zero is added in the latter case 0 topic 0 0 1 2 asterisk topic plus 1 topic Greater than zero. One, two, three. Alternatively, since natural numbers naturally embed in the integers, they may be referred to as the positive or the non-negative integers, respectively. One, two, 
3 equals z plus display style 1 2 3 dots equals math bound z caret plus 0 1 2 equals z 0 display style 0 1 2 dots equals math bound z caret geq 0 topic properties topic infinity the set of natural numbers is an infinite set this kind of infinity is by definition called countable infinity all sets that can be put into a bijective relation to the natural numbers are said to have this kind of infinity this is also expressed by saying that the cardinal number of the set is aleph naught zero. Topic addition. One can recursively define an addition operator on the natural numbers by setting a plus zero. Topic a plus s b. S a plus b for all a b. Here s should be read as successor. This turns the natural numbers plus into a commutative monoid with identity element zero, the so-called free object with one generator. This monoid satisfies the cancellation property and can be embedded in a group in the mathematical sense of the word group. The smallest group containing the natural numbers is the integers. If one is defined as s zero, then b plus one. Topic B plus S zero S B plus zero equals S B. That is, B plus one is simply the successor of B. Equals Topic Multiplication Topic Analogously, given that addition has been defined, a multiplication operator times can be defined via a times zero. Zero and a times s b equals a times b plus a. This turns asterisk times into a free commutative monoid with identity element one. A generator set for this monoid is the set of prime numbers. Equals. Topic: Relationship between addition and multiplication. Topic: Addition and multiplication are compatible, which is expressed in the distribution law a times b plus c a times b plus a times c. These properties of addition and multiplication make the natural numbers an instance of a commutative semiring. Semirings are an algebraic generalization of the natural numbers where multiplication is not necessarily commutative. The lack of additive inverses, which is equivalent to the fact that is not closed under subtraction i.e., subtracting one natural from another does not always result in another natural, means that is not a ring, instead it is a semiring also known as a rig. If the natural numbers are taken as excluding zero and starting at one, the definitions of plus and times are as above, except that they begin with a plus one. Topic S A and a times one A. Topic order. In this section, juxtaposed variables such as ab indicate the product a times b, and the standard order of operations is assumed. A total order on the natural numbers is defined by letting a b if and only if there exists another natural number c where a plus c equals b. This order is compatible with the arithmetical operations in the following sense, if a, b and c are natural numbers and a b, then a plus c b plus c and a c b c 
An important property of the natural numbers is that they are well ordered. Every non empty set of natural numbers has a least element. The rank among well ordered sets is expressed by an ordinal number. For the natural numbers, this is denoted as omega. omega. Topic. Division In this section, juxtaposed variables such as ab indicate the product a times b, and the standard order of operations is assumed. While it is in general not possible to divide one natural number by another and get a natural number as result, the procedure of division with remainder is available as a substitute. For any two natural numbers a and b with b does not equal zero, there are natural numbers q and r such that a equals bq plus r and r equals topic algebraic properties satisfied by the natural numbers equals the addition plus and multiplication times operations on natural numbers as defined above have several algebraic properties Closure under addition and multiplication, for all natural numbers a and b, both a plus b and a times b are natural numbers. Associativity, for all natural numbers a, b, and c, a plus b plus c. A plus b plus c and a times b times c a times b times c commutativity for all natural numbers a and b a plus b topic b plus a and a times b b times a existence of identity elements for every natural number a a plus 0 topic a and a times 1 A distributivity of multiplication over addition for all natural numbers a, b, and c. A times b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. No non-zero zero divisors if a and b are natural numbers such that a times b. Topic zero then a zero or b equals zero or both equals topic generalizations equals two important generalizations of natural numbers arise from the two uses of counting and ordering cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers a natural number can be used to express the size of a finite set, more precisely, a cardinal number is a measure for the size of a set, which is even suitable for infinite sets. This concept of «size» relies on maps between sets, such that two sets have the same size, exactly if there exists a bijection between them. The set of natural numbers itself, and any bijective image of it, is said to be countably infinite and to have cardinality aleph null zero. Natural numbers are also used as linguistic ordinal numbers. First, second, third, and so forth. This way they can be assigned to the elements of a totally ordered finite set, and also to the elements of any well-ordered countably infinite set. This assignment can be generalized to general well-orderings with a cardinality beyond countability, to yield the ordinal numbers. An ordinal number may also be used to describe the notion of size. For a well-ordered set, in a sense different from cardinality, if there is an order isomorphism more than a bijection, between two well-ordered sets, they have the same ordinal number. The first ordinal number that is not a natural number is expressed as omega, this is also the ordinal number of the set of natural numbers itself. Many well-ordered sets with cardinal number zero have an ordinal number greater than omega the latter is the lowest possible. The least ordinal of cardinality zero i.e., the initial ordinal is omega. For finite well-ordered sets, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between ordinal and cardinal numbers, therefore they can both be expressed by the same natural number, the number of elements of the set. This number can also be used to describe the position of an element in a larger finite, or an infinite, sequence. 
a countable non-standard model of arithmetic satisfying the Peano arithmetic i.e., the first-order Peano axioms was developed by Skolem in 1933. The hypernatural numbers are an uncountable model that can be constructed from the ordinary natural numbers via the ultrapower construction. Georges Reb used to claim provocatively that the naive integers don't fill up. Other generalizations are discussed in the article on numbers. Topic: <laughs> Formal definitions. Topic: <laughs> Peano axioms. Many properties of the natural numbers can be derived from the five Peano axioms. Zero is a natural number. Every natural number has a successor. Zero is not the successor of any natural number. If the successor of x display style x equals the successor of y display style y, then x display style x equals y display style y the axiom of induction if a statement is true of 0 and if the truth of that statement for a number implies its truth for the successor of that number then the statement is true for every natural number these are not the original axioms published by pino but are named in his honor some forms of the pino axioms have one in place of 0 in ordinary arithmetic the successor of x display style x is x plus 1 display style x plus 1 replacing axiom 5 by an axiom schema one obtains a weaker first order theory called peano arithmetic topic constructions based on set theory topic Von Neumann ordinals In the area of mathematics called set theory, a specific construction due to John von Neumann defines the natural numbers as follows Set 0 equals, the empty set Define S a equals a, a for every set A. S a is the successor of A, and S is called the successor function. By the axiom of infinity, there exists a set which contains zero and is closed under the successor function. Such sets are said to be inductive. The intersection of all such inductive sets is defined to be the set of natural numbers. It can be checked that the set of natural numbers satisfies the Peano axioms. It follows that each natural number is equal to the set of all natural numbers less than it, zero equals one. Topic zero 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 equals two. Topic one one zero one equals three. Topic two two. Zero one two equals N Topic N minus one N minus one Zero one N minus one equals etc. With this definition, a natural number N is a particular set with N elements, and N M if and only if N is a subset of M. The standard definition, now called definition of von Neumann ordinals, is each ordinal is the well-ordered set of all smaller ordinals. Also, with this definition, different possible interpretations of notations like n, n tuples versus mappings of n inter coincide. Even if one does not accept the axiom of infinity and therefore cannot accept that the set of all natural numbers exists, it is still possible to define any one of these sets. Topic: Zamello ordinals. Although the standard construction is useful, it is not the only possible construction. Ernst Zermelo's construction goes as follows: Set zero equals define S a equals a. It then follows that zero equals one. 
Topic zero two. Topic one. N. Topic N minus one. Etc. Each natural number is then equal to the set containing just the natural number preceding it. This is the definition of Zermelo ordinals. See also Banacherov's identification problem Canonical representation of a positive integer Countable set Number hashtag classification for other number systems rational, real, complex etc. Notes <laughs> <laughs>